What's going on YouTube? This is Tony with Real Life Trading. I want to give you a quick update on the markets. So we did end up breaking out above this 396 level and sure enough, we have been making a bull move. So key levels now to be looking for is this 408 mark up here and still the 380 mark down in here. So Still very, very sideways. In my opinion, we are in a bear trend still. We are retesting. This is a steeper retest than I want. Fed is about to announce its rate here coming up in a couple hours. So this could change a lot, right? The markets could be screaming bearish. The markets could be going very bullish. Just know that anything below 380 and we have a lot more to go down. I mean, we'll retest the low of last year, Any, in my opinion. Anything up above 408, then 420 is back in the table, possibly even 435 we could be screaming up to. So we've just got to sit back and wait, um, let this Fed rate announcement come out, and then most importantly, let the let Powell to kind of do his question and answer period, see how strong he is about supporting the banks and, and what goes on. But it is possible that we do get some sort of massive, massive move up or down. The volatility today is insane. We will see what it does, but either way, you know how to make some money on it, right? We start making a move below 380 on a retest. That's where you're loading in and we're heading down. If we start making a move above 408 strongly on a retest of 408, load up. Let's see if we can go higher. That's how I'm looking to play it. Again, this is just a quick little update on a few things. Throw in some comments below if you'd like me to look at some tickers for next time. Again, I'll be doing these quite a few times throughout the week, so I'm happy to look at a few others. Hughes, it's the exact same story. The levels here are about 285. We get below 285, and this thing's going to be crushing down. 316 is my level of the upside. We get up above that, then we're probably going to start visiting 335. I'm not sure which way we're going to go, but it's going to be fun to figure it out and to see how this is going to start to work its way out of this mess of dealing with inflation and dealing with banks failures. And it is, it's, it's a little bit of a mess out there. Let's, let's take a quick look at the dollar index going into this rate announcement. The dollar still been very weak, starting to fall off some more. That's interesting price action. Again, looking at TLT here with bonds. Bonds are starting to find a little bit of support. Let's see if they can't work their way back up to 108 and see what happens in there. JNK, though, this has been a little bit of a leading indicator. Basically, when JNK starts to fall, the markets tend to drop. It just takes a few days afterwards. So we've noticed that on a lot of these moves, JNK starts to really tank and the spy and, you know, Hughes, they're still hanging out and then they follow suit. Today, this is actually a pretty bare day, whereas SPY or Q's have been still pushing bullish. So that's interesting. Um, again, I have no idea which way we're going to go. I will simply just react and play it, right? We go bullish, cool. I'm going to jump on the bag wagon on a pullback and ride this thing higher. If we go bearish, I'll do the exact same thing to the downside. We'll just sit back and wait. Really, that's all we can do. But big time... Catalyst coming in today with this rate announcement and with what Pal says. It's going to be fun to give you guys an update later on throughout this week based on where we're going. So I look forward to it. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight. Again, picking some key levels for you to pay attention to and trade around because that is going to be a big key to your success is trading in key levels, avoiding the mess, and trading key levels. You will be a lot more profitable on your trading journey. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll give you an update later on this week.